As a nation, we invest billions of public dollars into the world's most advanced scientific research. This investment is meant to promote technological advancements, economic benefits, and a broad range of social goals. It is also meant to educate the next generation of scientific leaders. But as we advance forward on new pathways of discovery, scientists and decision makers can no longer wait until new technologies are fully developed before considering their broad societal impacts. Around the world, policymakers operating at the highest levels of government are increasingly calling for the integration of social and ethical concerns into key stages of science and innovation, including those stages once thought of as pure and completely removed from any practical context. In the United States, federal legislation on nanoscale science and engineering research mandates integrating research on societal, ethical, and environmental concerns with nanotechnology research and development. These integration policies are like investments in the public value of science, which can help prepare the next generation of scientific experts to better participate in complex democratic discussions. However, this type of integration challenges long-standing beliefs about the separateness of science from its social context, and it raises key questions about its very possibility. Traditionally, science educators wondered whether subjects like history of science should be X-rated for young and impressionable natural scientists. They worried that integrating outside perspectives could weaken or even harm the scientific enterprise. Meanwhile, society has made many positive changes to the ways in which science is conducted, including improvements in worker safety, gender representation, and the responsible conduct of research. Such changes have redefined what it means to do good research. But can integration help attune science even more closely to its social context? And would doing so help or hurt the quality of scientific research? These are questions that the STIR program in sociotechnical integration research is helping to answer. In a coordinated series of experiments, the STIR program at Arizona State University has embedded humanities and social science scholars into over two dozen laboratories in North America, Europe, and Asia. The STIR program uses a unique set of tools to determine just how far the integration of science and society can go in a highly structured research setting like the laboratory. Laboratories are part of a larger science policy decision process that can be broken down into three stages that continually flow and feed back into one another. Scientific research takes place midstream between the public policies that fund it and the stakeholders who seek to benefit from it. Philosophers and social scientists in the STIR program do more than observe and analyze. Their questions and perspectives become embedded in scientific practices and activities that they participate in. As they learn the theory and methods of their science and engineering counterparts, they also introduce a protocol that unpacks social, ethical, and environmental dimensions of the scientific research in real time. The interdisciplinary teams of scientists use the protocol as they go about their normal work, during interviews, research meetings, and even in the midst of laboratory experiments. These radical forms of interdisciplinary collaboration have documented changes in research practices, expanding the nature of questions that come up during research, and increasing the range of technical alternatives for moving forward. In one study, reflections on responsible innovation generated novel ideas for antenna structures and nanoparticle synthesis. In other studies, scientists have altered disposal techniques, improved experimental setups, and initiated public outreach programs. These collaborations have also documented changes in research agendas and priorities. Thus, socio-technical integration in the laboratory can also help inform research and policy decisions made outside the laboratory. Studies like those being conducted by the STIR program demonstrate that for the next generation of scientists, asking questions about the broader dimensions of their research decisions 
need not entail a sacrifice in productivity. Rather, efforts to enhance the creativity and the social responsiveness of science can be mutually reinforcing.